hands free. Fifteen cool the shanty. I sing sing like the Grand Prix. She fling fling off the panties. Oh, and them things extra fancy. Hi, pretty hi. You remember Dada? Remember Dada? Hmm? Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 Monique. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, okay, okay. How have you been? Remember me? Hmm? Dada's coming after 24 months. 28 months. Dada was not there for 2 years and 4 months. Hmm? Show bulla, show bulla. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 What's up YouTube? As you can see, I'm just out of bed, took a quick shower, changed into my t-shirt because I gotta head out. I don't know if I can call this a sneaker unboxing video, it's not really a sneaker. But yeah, let's go through all of the stuff I picked up uh, in the last week or so, really quickly. Alright, so first up is the Jason Mark Repel Spray. A lot of people ask me, what do I prefer, Jason Mark or Crep? I frankly don't see the difference. I mean, both of them are as effective. Uh, however, I remember using Crepe Protect on one of my Jordans, the bread toes and uh, the next morning I had ants on them for some reason. That scared the shit out of me. I had to then like keep the sneakers away uh, from anywhere that's close to the wall or a shelf. But yeah, this is the first time I'm going to be using a Jason Mark and this one is a stain and water repellent. If you have any questions about how they work, just drop them in the comments below. Calvin Klein undies. I'm not gonna unbox them, nor am I gonna do a lookbook in them. I know, God forbid, right? From last week's drop uh, on Dover Street Market, I picked up two more Palace t-shirts. I got like full sleeved ones. It's the Triferg with three jelly beans and a snake's fangs. Yeah, so this one's in white. And I picked up the same t-shirt in navy. So the Triferg right there. And you have the back. I don't know how I'm gonna rock these in Bombay because Bombay is really friggin' humid. Although I can manage Bangalore still because it's super pleasant. I'm gonna turn on the aircon or the fan ever since I've been here. And I've been here four days already. Speaking of essentials for a healthy living or a good living, I got a three pair, uh, three pack, three blah. What do you call this? A three pair pack of the Stance uh, concealed socks. Uh, Moving away present from Shell. This is a Huff and Thrasher collab t-shirt. Now I had the same t-shirt in black, uh, but then ever since I moved to Bombay, I've been wearing that t-shirt so much. I even wore it to the Ferrell Williams Holy Party. And I mean, we played with organic colors, so I didn't fuck the t-shirt up. But then I wore it so frequently, that it's gone quite bad. It's like faded really bad. So I got one here. You got the Huff, the globe on fire right there. And since it's quite humid, Nice pastel colors to go with the weather. Right, it's summer after all. Well, it's monsoons, but then monsoons are as good as summer in India. Speaking of pastel colors, here's another nice package. Like you can see, Amy Leondor. Is that how it's pronounced? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know in the comments. All right, and here you have it. Another pastel colored t-shirt. This cotton has Huh, it's got a bit of elastane in it as well. I'm not too crazy about elastane to be honest. I mean, if I was fit, it was different, but I'm not. So, you have a screen printed Amy Leon door right there, very minimal. Clean, basic t shirt, otherwise, yeah, size large in both of them. I'll try them on and see how they fit. Alright, so before we get on the footwear itself, you see that golden owl, the OVO. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you like any of the stuff that I picked up or something that's a little classy, more like Miami Vice wipes, give this video a thumbs up. I always wanted a pair of the Clark's Originals Wallaby boots and I was waiting to pick a good pair. And when the OVO uh, collab launched, I saw the, uh, was announced rather, I saw the colorways and I fell in love because the light blue and the orange, not the black so much, but the light blue the most. And uh, so I go online on the drop day, place my order, transaction goes through. I'm all happy, you know, because it was a easy swing in, swing out. Uh, and then I get an email the next day saying that, hey, we suspect this transaction to be fraudulent. 
and I'm like, okay, what do you need from me? They're like, give us your uh, postal address, the name of the card, uh, the postal and the delivery address don't match, and so on. And I answered all their questions. I literally gave them uh, links to my Facebook and my Instagram to tell them, hey, you know what, this actually is me, this is not a fraudulent transaction. You can see that I haven't placed more than one order, it's just this one pair that I really wanted. Uh, so we went back and forth for like three days, I guess. After which on the fourth day they told me we're sorry but we had to cancel your order. And I was super bummed. I even tweeted out to them and tried to get the attention of Champagne Fafi but to no avail. So that was on my secondary laptop, right? And the link was just there. I left it there and I went about my days. And I think about three to four weeks later, I happened to open my laptop because I was working on something else. And uh, that link still open. So I just do like a refresh and they had restocked the pairs and it was exactly the size I wanted um, and the same thing repeats I place the order, they say it's a fraudulent transaction I tell them, listen, look at this conversation trail that was like a, f a month, almost a month ago and why would I try and pick up a pair when you cancel it back then now because if I need to resell it, it has next to no uh, resale value I really want to wear them, so just like send that to me and fortunately for me, they ordered my transaction and I got my hands on these. Let me pop the lid open. I obviously have opened it already. A nice solid box with a dust cloth, a dust bag. Uh, it says Clark's Originals and it's got the owl branding right here. Handy to carry your shoes around. Now, here are what I call the Miami Vice joints. A nice subtle powder blue with those dirty gum soles that wallabies are known for man the lights in and out because of the monsoons still not improved you have your hang tags the first hang tag has the golden owl on it the obo owl and then you have clark's originals on the second hang tag on the secondary hang tag usually the wallabies the clark's originals come with just one hang tag which is your clark's originals this one comes with two not that it matters on the inside you have your Owl and the Clark's original sign again, hot stamped in gold. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, a glimpse of it. The one word I fail with, and every time I shoot a video, I don't bother doing my research, is it's got OVO debossed slash embossed on the toe box. Runs through the toe box. So there's nothing phenomenal about this sneaker, right? It's not like out of the way. Uh, out of the world uh, kind of collab it's very lazy in terms of a collab but the color is so damn clean I just had to get these now about the sizing uh, I've had multiple people tell me different things some people tell me go through the size of the wallabies and other people tell me to go down half a size now I tried them on yesterday without socks um, and they are like my toes hit right here so it's like a proper snug fit but not because it's too weird and the quality of the construction, these the construction, these are gonna expand a fair bit, they're gonna have a fair bit of give. So I think in about a few wears, like in a month or so, these will be good and worn in and will fit me like they're my size. Otherwise, if you'd like a little bit of room in ahead of your toes, then go through to size with wallabies. If you like them fitting you snug like I like my shoes, then go down half a size. You know what go well together. Yeah, good call on getting this actually. Your your reinforcement points have been stitched together, layered with leather and proper solid stitching. Same goes through this ankle point as well. The interesting thing about the Wallabies, uh, it's my first pair of course, is that there's no real tongue. It's like uh, the tongue blends into the shoe. So, you see that? That's how it is. So there's no, there's no separation point for it. Oh, another interesting hit is the Italian flag right here on the inside of the sock-like upper tongue. Sock-like upper. Adidas made that like a part of a vocabulary. So that's it. That's that's about it for the details of the sneaker. Ah, oh, fuck, it's not a sneaker. For the boots, the chaka boots. I'm gonna now quickly slip these on feet to show you what they look like. But before I do that, I need to apologize because I don't have any pants. I'm here for a while, or a short while. I'm wearing shorts. So I'm gonna do the worst thing imaginable to a pair of all of these shoes. That's wearing them with shorts. But hey, they're shoes. You rock them like you deem it fit. I barely wear pants. Like, I'm always in shorts, cargo shorts. You know that. 
which is why I'll probably still wear this after the video with shorts. Until next time, you guys. Peace. What's popping, man? Scratchy. Oi. What's happening? Hmm? Never seen Dada in shoes like these, no? Oi. It's too sunny to look up. Huh?